This is Ray's Grid, a normal Minecraft world with 99% of all blocks removed. Despite its extremeness, everything is still possible. With the goal of this series to obtain every advancement, item, as well as mob. Watch the series from the beginning with a link down below, as well as learn how you can actually join us in this world. In the last episode, we went exploring and acquired a lot of different advancements along the way. In this episode, we're going to attempt to get villagers, which will be an amazing unlock, since we can trade with them, use them for iron farms, crop farms, and much more. We are getting closer to getting villagers, so we'll need to cure a zombie villager in order to do this. It means we need gold apple, so we can get the gold from the pigment farm and apples from our tree farm over there. Get ourselves a gold apple. We'll save that until we need it. So now I just do the weakness potion. So to get the weakness potion, we're going to go out to the nether fortress and get ourselves a blaze rod. This is going to be used for the brewing stand so we can make the splash potion. Back at the fortress, the guys are flattening it all out so they can do some killing of mobs. Let's see if we can get a blaze rod. Oh, there's a wither skeleton behind you. Thanks for taking it. No, no, no. No, they're after me now. Uh, GG, you got withered. Oh, hold on, oh, let me put the boat down first, okay. Oh, no, okay, I'm dead. So I pick up my stuff. Wow, the guys were really adding tons of beds to this area, so we can actually do something we couldn't do before, which is skip nights or thunderstorms. So let's see if we can get enough people in these beds at once so we can actually do that. Sleeping through the night. Awesome job, everybody. That should stop the rain. Also night. Yeah, we don't have the phantoms. Now let's go kill some more blazes so we can continue on our villager quest. Yeah. Hey, got a blaze rod. Oh, now I'm gonna die. We also got a second blaze rod so we can make the blaze pattern in order to fuel the brewing stand. So we got the blaze rod from the blazes. Let's take our blaze powder. So we can make a weakness potion as well as a gold apple. So we're ready to cure the villager. Now with the brewing stand crafted up. So we need to make a weakness potion. So when we get a villager zombie, we can actually cure it. So we got some water bottles. Go ahead and make that fermented spider eye. Uh, we don't actually need another wart. We go ahead and place that there. And if we place our blaze powder over there, give it some fuel, we should be able to brew this down. Now we have weakness potion, exactly what we need to get the villager. Now we need to make it splash so we can throw it onto it. Awesome, so now we got splash weakness potions, we'll keep those. And we also got a new advancement, local brewery. So since we got the blaze rod, we got that advancement. And now with local brewery, we got new advancement for brewing a potion, pretty awesome. Looks like the guys found a slime junk as well. Pretty sweet. So now we're all ready to cure up any villager zombie that we happen to find. Enjoying the series? Leave a like. So a second cow actually spawned in and the guys moved over here. They started breeding them. Go ahead and breed these guys as well. We can get more cows. Let's also breed the sheep. Sheep are amazing because we get wool. It's the easiest way for us to get tons of wool. Look at that little guy. It just pops right out. And breeding these guys will also help out for our advancement where we have to breed up every single breedable mob. So the guys found a baby villager zombie, quite rare. And we're going ahead and actually building in a water tube to transport it. We're going to make a bubble column with the soul sand. You guys are putting a kelp. It's going to take this guy directly up to a house we made. There's a little guy right there. He's actually wearing some helmets. He's a villager zombie and he's also a baby. So it's to be extra careful with him. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, uh, like... oh. uh, he's, he's, he's out of it. Okay. That was a close one. We almost lost that villager zombie the exact same way we lost the previous one. The idea is to ride in the boat with the baby zombie yes. while he's trying yeah. to attack someone else. Then take it into the bubble column and zip it all the way up to the top. But we gotta make sure not to actually take the boat directly inside the bubble column, otherwise anything that's riding it will get kicked out. After much trial and error, we were able to get the baby zombie up to where we're eventually gonna have the villagers. Okay, so I got the villager zombie up here, and we're ready to go ahead and cure it. So let me grab my weakness potion as well as golden apple. Awesome, let's go ahead and throw out the weakness potion and give it the golden apple. Yes, now it'll start to convert. So it will take a little while and then we should get ourselves a villager. While we wait for that, one of my supporters on the server came across a dripstone cave biome. So let's head out there. 
I'm on my way and I have a oh, bow. Yeah. Spam it. Let's go! Nice! Oh my goodness! I just got the return to sender! That's amazing! Sweet, sweet deal. Return to sender. Destroy gas with a fireball. Awesome. That's a pretty good one. Pretty high tier. The guys found dripstone in the overworld and we're now making another portal in order to get close to it so we don't have to travel so far in the overworld. We can jump right through the portal. Oh, it's right underneath of us. Oh, amazing. So we need to get a block as well as a tip. There's a water log tipped over there. Oh, this is amazing. I got some food though so I can take some damage. I got one. I'll bring a couple. You definitely need the blocks in order to get it to drip. I have a point. That's such a good point. <laughs> Oh, wow. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Is that a block of raw copper off in that direction? Oh, maybe no. you found a vein. Do you see one? Dude, those things are super south. duper rare in a normal world, let alone in a world where 99% of stuff is removed. <gasps> I found oh, the it's right there. Do you guys see it? Right there. That's crazy. So that means there's a vein there. The veins have a small chance to uh, produce yeah, the, break the, the raw here. blocks. Crazy. Okay, I got two points. Ooh. We went ahead and gathered a few different points as well as blocks. Oh. It's turning nighttime. Okay, I'm coming yeah. up. Okay, so let's take this back to spawn so we can get infinite amounts of lava. Okay, so we brought back the dripstone point as well as dripstone block. So we'll have the block there, the point there. Underneath of that, we use our iron to produce an iron cauldron. And then all we have to do is go ahead and make some room so we can place in the lava right above that. And then we should be able to get infinite amounts of lava from this. Okay, so I grabbed some lava from the nether. And let's go ahead and throw it up here so we can start to let it drip down. And hopefully we'll eventually get some lava sources in there. And as we get more iron, we'll go ahead and add in more cauldrons. Uh, we do have more points, which we can use. Hopefully as people come by, they'll just see the lava needs to be collected and they'll collect it up. Okay, so we also got one dripstone with water above it, and that way it will grow into points, so we can get more points as well as blocks, so we can expand our farm here. Oh my goodness, I just got the advancement to Zombie Docker, Weekend, and Cure a Zombie Villager. And that also helps us open up, I think we completed this little tree, finished that one off, which is really amazing. Now we also got villagers, so we could start actually Breed two villages together, start crop farms, start actually getting tons of villagers, training them, make iron farms. This is going to open up the door for so much stuff. So, in here is where we have the villagers. The guy's been going ahead and giving them some props that we have, trying to get more villagers. We got some extra beds in here so that they'll produce babies. Uh, they already started trading with this weaponsmith, trying to get a bunch of emeralds. And we also got a Fletcher. Fletcher is really easy because all you need is some sticks, and then you can get emeralds easily. They got this guy completely opened up as well. And of course, uh, this guy. You can sell him coal to get emeralds. Let's actually do some trading with these. So this is the guy that I care, so he has reduced prices. Okay, so let's do some trading with this villager here. So we unlock uh, another advancement, which is amazing. What a deal. Successfully trade with the villagers. That's awesome. Opened up the door to getting many more emeralds. We do have a bunch of trees up above. So we can use that to get tons of sticks. Our little temporary breeder here is working well. So now with the surplus of the villagers, we can actually use them in other places. And our idea is that we need to get some of these villagers out. So we can go ahead and actually do some crop farms and eventually make an iron farm. So that's where our goal is right now. One villager is already out. He already okay. is a farmer. Try to get him inside. Do you guys make a nice walkway? Oh yeah, they don't want to fall in the hole. So okay, we got two farmers. There's crops. They got their workstations. Uh, those are the main things they need in order to breed because they'll pick up the crops. They'll be able to have enough to breed up. We need at least three beds up for here. Two for the two adults and extra one for their babies. Uh, the adults can't walk 
over to the beds so they're not going to be able to sleep in or anything like that. But the babies will try to get to the beds to sleep in them and hopefully they fall down here. We might put some uh, trap doors so that they think they can walk across. We'll see. And then we should get uh, a working villager breeder so we should get tons of more babies and we can get uh, iron farm going as well as doing villager training which is going to open up a lot especially the iron because irons are needed for hoppers very important if you want to start automating things cool let's protect these guys so they have no chance of dying let's put in some walls here maybe put in another gate here and put in a ceiling so it'll be a little while before we get villagers so let's go check out a slime farm which is being worked on which is off in the distance uh, someone noticed slime spawning. Let's see how it's working. It looks like there's some creepers here. So here's the slime farm. So they spawn the same as prior to 1.18. They still spawn from Y level 40, which is up there, all the way down to the very bottom of the world, which now is in the negatives. But see the platform and they spawn there. Currently, we don't really got a collection system, but it looks like they at least got the spawning floors. I guess you could check every once in a while to see if there's any slimes there. And eventually we we'll probably want to put in some water and maybe some like campfires or something to kill them automatically. And then if we get a spare hopper, we can pick up all their loot. Good start. Hey, these guys in here, <laughs> they produce another baby. That's awesome. Just beside where the villages are, we also have a bigger crop farm being built, placed in with carrots. This is the one where you can stack it. Uh, I did a video on this particular one. And eventually they'll be able to throw their crops over here probably and we'll collect them and then we'll give them off to some other villagers which will just be dedicated to breeding tons and tons of villagers which will be amazing. So we had a iron golem actually spawn in because we have uh, villagers here. So we'll go ahead and kill this guy. So let's get over there. Stand up nice and high so it doesn't hit us. <laughs> So hopefully we won't have to manually kill any iron golems after we get the iron golem farm going. So let's go ahead and get some free iron. This is way easier to get iron from these guys than it is to try to actually mine it up. We got a total of four ingots. That will be awesome. We can make some lovely hoppers to start automatically collecting items. Villagers are going to give us access to so much from trading to automation, but most importantly, iron farms. Look forward to the next episode where we do all this, and I live stream this on Twitch every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Or check out my series of playing Minecraft but starting with a single block. Thank you guys for the support on this series. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.